Recon 1 to Alpha 9. Over. Recon 1, this is Alpha 9. Outside perimeter is clear. Request permission to move into grid 32. Recon 1, try visual again. Attempting visual. Visual imagery still distorted. There's probably some hefty EMFs coming out of your gun, sir. Visual will most likely be impossible. My guess is it's only gonna get worse as we get near. Roger that, Recon 1. Proceed, Lieutenant. Recon 1, you are cleared into grid 32. Roger that, Alpha 9. Roger that, Recon 1. On your 6 and 8. General, we have to do something. Sir. Recon 1, this is Alpha 9 or over. Recon 1, this is Alpha 9 or do you read? James. This never happened. events. I've decided to reactivate Peter Doyle. Respecting your decision, General, but after what happened in Somalia, I Psychiatric Advisory Board cleared him. He passed all their tests. General, if I may suggest... Lieutenant, the legacy of Rubicon Base lives or dies with us. We've got one chance left to pull this off. I understand, sir. Good, because you're the only person I can trust to get the job done once Rubicon is reached. And Peter Doyle's the only man I know who can get you there. Seguro que él vive aquí. Sí, señor. El hombre de las clebros. Lieutenant Doyle? Lieutenant? Hello? Lieutenant? Lieutenant. Yeah. <laughs>
Don't even breathe. Uh, 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 you're breathing. Good. Now, very slowly, I want you to look down at your feet, and I do mean slowly. That's a death adder. Name kind of says it all, don't you think? Good. Just wanted to make sure you understood just what it was that's about to crawl up your pants. Who are you? Second Lieutenant William Borak, sir. Well, Second Lieutenant William Borak, what are you doing here? Quietly now. She doesn't like vibrations or loud noises. I have instructions regarding a commission, sir. Not interested. <sighs> sir, they're direct from General Pembroke. Definitely not interested. <laughs> you don't understand. Shh, shh, shh. She hasn't been milked for a few days. See, when you milk them like I do, the venom gets really potent. And if they don't get milked regularly, they get a little edgy. Kind of like uh, reptilian PMS. <laughs> Pembroke lost a squad on a mission in Point Noir. Why come to me? I'm damaged goods. Your brother, Lieutenant James Doyle, led the team. Survivors? We think there's a chance James is still alive. What happened? Ambush, sir. By whom? Lieutenant. It was a black op, unless you've been cleared. Come on now, save me the reading time. She will find something to chew on by the time I get through all of that crap. Now, what is Rubicon? It's a top secret research facility. Built during the Cold War. What kind of research? Biological, sir. The military looking for killer viruses. Research was halted a couple of years ago. But there was a built-in failsafe at Rubicon. In case something went wrong. What kind of failsafe? Nuclear. <laughs> Better to nuke half of Africa than let a virus get out to kill the world. God bless America. A few days ago, Congolese rebels overran the base and triggered the failsafe. It'll go critical in about 30 hours. We have to get our team to Rubicon, sir, to neutralize both it and the rebels. Mm, oh, yeah. I don't need a job. I make a pretty decent living selling this stuff. And I know exactly where I stand with these things. I trust them. Pembroke is a different kind of snake. But your brother has... My brother is alive. dead, as far as I'm concerned, Lieutenant. He has been for years. Looks like you need to visit the little officer's room. Yep. There's an outhouse around the back. Go ahead. I'm going to read some more. Bang on the door a few times. It scares the tarantulas away. What do you think, Iggy? Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that.
Welcome back, Lieutenant. Your favorite brand. Don't smoke anymore, sir. The three men you requested are on board and gearing up. There'll be two more joining you. That wasn't part of the deal. I'm sending along Second Lieutenant Borak. You're kidding. The guy peed in his pants. Yes, I heard all about it. He's a good soldier, Doyle. <clears throat> I want him on this mission. The other's a specialist. PhD? Degrees in quantum mechanics, particle physics, statistical mathematics, computer science. I assume the brain is allowing to defuse the failsafe? Your job is to get the team there in one piece. Find out what happened to the first team. I'm not promising Jimmy's alive, Doyle. And I'm not promising what'll happen if he is. Within this grid, you're likely to encounter hit-and-run rebel resistance. You have less than 20 hours before Rubicon's failsafe reaches critical. There's an MVB Mark II nuclear device. If it goes off, it'll make Chernobyl look like a rabbit fart. General. Lieutenant Peter Doyle. Lieutenant Joyce Darwin. Lieutenant? Your co-commander. Co-commander? PhD. Insertion will be up the Kuambala River in two hours. Forget it. Excuse me? I don't share command. General. Lieutenant! Mind if I ask what the problem is? No problem, I just don't share command. You have before. Your last mission. Then you know my reasons. I know your brother was only trying my to do his job. brother was a traitor. I don't believe that. I've served with James. I respect his dedication and his ability. All I know about you is what's in your psychiatric file, and that's not very pretty. Unfortunately, Pembroke thinks you're the only man who can get us to Rubicon. Your point is? I need to know you're not a Section 8 nutcase who's going to get us all killed. Unfortunately, Lieutenant, you don't have any choice. It's my way, their highway. All right, Doyle. I'll seed command. You're in charge until we get to the base. But from then on, I call the shots. Once we're inside, you're gonna need me a hell of a lot more than I need you. Yeah. One other thing. What went down between my brother and me is personal. From here on out, it's no longer a topic for discussion. You better be as good as they say you are. I sold my next tickets to be here. I mean, it's the finals, man. They're actually back in the finals, and I'm gonna miss out. That's really gonna hurt. But damn, bro, we're back working with Doyle. What's your problem? Haven't seen Doyle in a long time. Don't expect him to be the same man. I ain't, neither are you. <laughs> 
So he went a little ballistic on his brother. Maybe he deserved it. I know that I'd never jeopardize a mission just because you pissed me off. No matter how smart your mouth gets. I don't care if you are my brother. Barry, I gotta tell you something. And Mom said never to say a word. Dad knocked up a social worker and, well, that's where she came from. <laughs> You know, for a moron, you're a pretty funny guy. Oh, yeah. About you, T. Think the lieutenant went Section 8? Never judge a man until you walk a mile in his shoes. What's that? You eat Chinese for lunch? You sound like a freaking fortune cookie. I'm with your brother, Sorrentino. Doyle's the man. If he wants to tell us what happened in Somalia, he will. Until then, I'll go by what's happened between all of us in the past. Not by what went on somewhere we weren't. Right on, T. We morons gotta stick together. Oh, hell yeah. Officer on deck. Get it up, bro. It's up. At ease, gentlemen. Attention! How you doing, Cage? Good. You know that skin condition will clear up if you just get laid once in a while. Yes, sir, I know. How you doing, Paisa? Good. Still juggling three girlfriends? Down to two now. I married the other one. Oh, now you're making me feel old. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Sergeant. Looking good for an old howdy, sir. Lieutenant Darwin. First Sergeant. Tyler Koa, communications engineer. Yes, I've read all the men's dossiers, Lieutenant. Corporal Barry Sorrentino, weapons specialist. Corporal Cage Sorrentino, demolitions and recon specialist. He's good with the bullets, and I'm good with the bombs. You've all met Second Lieutenant William Borak? Yes, it turns out the Lieutenant and I share a fondness for snakes. Gear up. We leave at 1600. You heard the lady. Let's get the lead out. Data link report. 10 a.m. March 3rd. Dr. Jordan Pinkle, General Foster Pembroke. Situation critical. Fail safe initiated. Evacuating at 1300 hours. Ah! Ah! Lieutenant. Corporal. What do you know about what went down between Doyle and his brother? Well, they, uh, they shared a command on a special ops in Somalia. They were supposed to take a warlord. Alive. His brother's testimony has the warlord pulling a weapon. While Doyle's side of things has James going for a cold-blooded execution of the guy. A firefight broke out and... The Warlord's forces killed most of Doyle's platoon. After the shooting stopped, Doyle went after his brother like a crazy man. They, uh, they say he would have killed him if he hadn't been dragged off. The Board of Inquiry believed in James. Doyle was discharged for the assault on his brother and diagnosed with battle duress. And James received the DSC. You ever serve on the lieutenant before, sir? No, I just had the, uh, the pleasure of meeting him yesterday. He was a CO in the Gulf. Saved my life twice over. I'd kiss the devil's ass if he told me to. Just so you know where the loyalties lie around here. Right on, T. Hell yeah. Bassey? She's a customized L2A1. Modified stock and grip. Stripped down, 30 round mag. 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Highly effective when used against rebel factions. Takes the rebel out of it. You got enough C4 there, Corporal? That's what I do, sir. Blow things up. Yeah. But you, uh, you planning on taking out a whole city block? Something I learned from Dayton Girl Scouts. Always be prepared. Yeah. 
thing. Boar's hoof. Keeps away the evil spirits. Oh, kinda like a rabbit's foot, huh? No. Kinda like a boar's hoof. Freak, give me that dumb thing. What's that language translator for? Never know who you're gonna run into. Has the new global phonetic alphabet. Voice activated for 73 languages and dialects. Just Lodal Bengala. Handy. That's one Congo dialect I never learned. Let's parla pas mal. Nice doggy. Snakes, Lieutenant? Pan fried in a little garlic butter, they're not bad. So just out of curiosity, how many field missions does this make for you? The real thing, I mean. Not Sims. This is my first. How many nuclear bombs have you disarmed? A couple dozen. Give or take a few. Don't worry about it, Lieutenant. We'll get you there in one piece. Better hope so, Doyle. Otherwise you're looking at a boat full of dead men. in video comm systems. Let CNC keep us on a visual at all times. Really? Yeah. Can I see it? Sure. Wow. Yeah. Huh. It's not very rugged, is it? What the hell did you do that for? Nobody looks over my shoulder. Especially Pembroke. GPS locked the last signal from the first squad is coming from that direction. North, northeast. Maybe a little less than two miles. Now we got 14 hours. Let's move out. This guy, what they do to his head? What kind of sick mothers are we dealing with here?
It's Burner. Lieutenant, found a couple of others. Lopez and Davies. Sir, rebels did this? I do. He's moving fast. Lieutenant. This guy doesn't have any legs left, Lieutenant. There's a lot of blood down there. What's he saying? Take me, Father Death. The devil is here. Rumor. It's too fast to swim. He had to use a boat. He's just waiting. Right over there. All right. We got across the river. It's to reach the base, we're going to deal with him over there. These two canoes, three in a canoe. Barry, Cage, Tyler, take the first canoe, stay together on the water. I'm not digging this crap, Barry. A whole squad, an entire village massacred, and all that's left is skin and bone. Some badass rebels, man. T. 
Don't you ever talk? You're the communication specialist. For God's sake, say something, will you? Easy, Cage. We're all spooked. He's moving just ahead of us. Whoa, two contacts now. All right, listen up, everybody. Our mission is to get to Rubicon, not go tracking bogeys through the jungle. Lieutenant, we have a possible visual contact on the east shore. Our mission was also to find out what happened to the first squad. If one of those contacts is James... All right. Land and observe. Do not repeat. Do not engage. Turn back. They're flanking us. like a sucking sound. We saw what did it to him, sir. Which way? There. Didn't look like no rebels to me. It wasn't even human. Maybe the lieutenant knows what's going on. This would be a good time to air any dirty laundry, lieutenant. There's nothing to air. Oh, I don't believe you. You know something we don't. You know what's going on here. What's going on here? Stand down, soldier. Come on, man. This won't help. What the hell was that thing in your mouth? Don't, don't shoot him! Get Sorrentino, you don't want to do that. Don't you ever do that again. Oh, we're screwed. We are so screwed. How are we supposed to call in the airlift now? We're gonna get to the base. We're gonna complete our mission. That's all we need to think about right now. The mission? What about what that thing did to Tyler? We're just gonna forget that it's out there? Listen to me, Corporal. If we don't complete our mission, this entire sector, including us, is a memory. Can you get your head around that? Huh? Now go. Lieutenant, 
What? We can't leave him, sir. We can't leave Tyler. We're gonna come back for him. Let's get across the river. Borak, you go with them. Listen to me. I want the truth now. No more rebel insurgency crap. Something out here is killing soldiers, and I think you know a hell of a lot more than you're letting on. I don't know anything, Doyle. You think I'd put myself in the position to end up like one of those men, like Tyler? I think you would do anything Pembroke asked you to do. I think you're a first-class ass kisser. You and my brother, two of a kind. He put career ahead of my men once, and I almost killed him for it, so don't think for a second I won't do the same thing to you. Give me Tyler's tags. Now! Dead man, Cage. You ain't getting out of this nightmare alive. Shut up, man. Don't talk like that. You ain't never talked like that before. And we ain't never fought the devil before. You know, I'm not getting much comfort from this conversation. I'll throw you to a comforte in Madrid deal. Man, you're freaking me out. Don't freak me out, all right? Doyle will get us out of this. You'll see. He's gonna find a way out of here. Doyle only wants to find his brother. I think he's gonna kill him. closing. Oh man, 20 yards. I've got another one.
pig. Take it easy, look what it did to my brother, look at it! Look what it did to my brother! Get up! Shut up! And listen to me! Listen to me! I need to know, kiddo, are you with me or not? You wanna go home? You wanna quit? Or you're gonna finish this with me, because I'm gonna need you. some explanations. I've got nothing to say. That's what wiped out the first squad, wasn't it? She doesn't know anything. She knows more than you think, kid. What happened out here? Huh? What's Pembroke hiding? Stop it. We've got a mission to complete. Do not play with me, Lieutenant. You will lose. Doyle, we are a few hours from a nuclear bomb going off and about two miles from ground zero. That is the only truth I'm dealing with right now. That and finding James. If James is alive, maybe he knows what's going on here. If he's alive and he has anything to do with what's going on out here, he better hope I don't find him. Sorrentino. 
And I'm sure as hell not gonna sit out here waiting for that bomb to go off. Or one of those things to show up looking for a midnight snack. So go. Slaughtered, sir. Shot at by lasers, hunted by friggin' nightmare bugs. Why can't we just get out of here? We pass the point of no return. Our only way out of here is to complete this mission. New contact. Screw this thing. Identify yourself. You first, pal. Peter? Surprised? Doyle, drop your weapon! Don't make me do it. If I wanted to kill him, I would have done it already. There's a cave in the base of the hill, about 500 yards to the south. Let's get him in there. You okay to stand watch? Yes, sir. Stay alert. I'm 
My men. There you go. My men. Uh, the creatures uh, killed my men. They're too fast. My men. My men. It's okay. My men. We found them. It's all right. You'll be okay. Yeah. I warned you about lying to me. Doyle. Last time, he was the one who kept me in the dark and got half my platoon killed. So you can understand why losing three men this time kind of eats at me. Priority dictated. You knew these things were out there. You knew that's what wiped out the first squad. You can't blame me. I can't blame you. You can't blame you. Tell that to Tyler, Barry, and Borak. They're dead because of your lies. You're crazy. Yeah. Better crazy than a lying scheming bitch. Let her go. This is no way to show your gratitude, Jimmy. I just dragged your wounded ass through half a mile of jungle. Like the gratitude you showed me in Somalia? Don't. You put me in hospital for a week. You gave me no choice. The minute you became a cold-blooded killer. You're so naive. We had orders not to kill, Jimmy. And if you had followed him, I wouldn't have lost ten men. Pembroke ordered the hit. What? It was the direct order. He knew you wouldn't go alone for the dirty work, so I alone got the go-ahead to make the hit. I was following orders. Is he up to date on Rubicon? Tell him. He needs to know what we're up against. Now! Now! Let me guess. It never was a biological research facility. No. Actually, it was. It just didn't deal in viruses. In 61, Kennedy wanted to go further than just put man on the moon. He also wanted to bring intelligent life to Earth. An astronomer named Jordan Hankel proposed building a radio telescope out here. Send a signal throughout the galaxy. Rubicon. In 84, Henkel made contact. A spacecraft landed near Rubicon. We've met the offspring from that craft. Great. So we're not fighting rebels, we're fighting aliens. Terrific. The creatures killed nearly all of Henkel's scientists before being trapped in a quarantine chamber. But the government ordered Rubicon to be shut down and the creatures destroyed. They weren't taking any chances on future visitations. Pembroke was supposed to oversee the shutdown. But he thought there was information to be gleaned from the alien craft that might benefit the Defense Department. So he and Henkel formed an alliance. Pembroke using his military clout to feign the shutdown and run Rubicon covertly. Until 96 hours ago, when a second spacecraft arrived. Only this time, Henkel's men attacked first. They shot down the spacecraft as it approached the Rubicon base. The pilot was the... alien cyborg we've been tracking. It overpowered Henkel's security force and freed the other creatures. Before he was killed, Henkel initiated the failsafe. So if Pembroke doesn't... Stop the failsafe. His career goes right down the toilet. The government finds out about a 13-year-old cover-up. Most importantly, he wants that sidewalk. He wants its weapons and its technical knowledge. I don't believe that. Pembroke's a patriot. <laughs> he used all of us. Especially you. Now he's going to cash in. <coughs> that cyborg's his holy grail. James. Uh, James. Uh, 
Get out of the way. cyborg arrived in. The one Hengel's men shot down. There's extensive damage here. Take a look at it. Where's your med kit? Here. Cage, close the perimeter. Keep your eyes peeled. I don't think it hit the femoral, but you're losing a lot of blood. I'm gonna need to sew it up. Don't worry about me. We've gotta get to Listen, I don't want you passing out before you disarm the failsafe, so just stand still and shut up. This might hurt a little bit. So just when were you planning on coming clean with me, huh? Or were you supposed to kill me once we reached Rubicon? My orders were to keep you in the dark. Until we disarmed the reactor and Pembroke arrived with the support team. That hurt? No. So once again, I'm Pembroke's fall guy. He didn't think you'd take the mission if you knew the truth. He was right. He figured if James was still alive, that'd be enough incentive for you to keep going. 
Even if we run into the creatures. <clears throat> so when do you think you're fearless leader now, huh? I don't know. I can't believe he'd sacrifice James. Or me. What does he have to do, huh? Put a bullet in your head before you can see it? Because that's exactly what he's got planned, you know. It's all pointless. Unless we stop the failsafe. I just... Sorrentino! This is a friggin' creep show. One hell of a sponsor. It's gonna be tougher than I thought. The entire system's gone offline. Tell me 28 minutes is enough time. Somebody's really screwed around with the system. Probably Hankel, ensuring nobody could crack his security. I have to hack into the machine code in order to access the failsafe's manual override. I, I don't know if it'll work. How about you stop talking about it? Where are you going? Making sure you get every bit of the 28 minutes to break the code. Good company, Lieutenant.
just wants you to get the hell out of here. You can join the club. I never thought I'd be happy to see you, kid. Tell me about it. What about the failsafe? Uh, Darwin's working on it. Uh, you alright? Yeah. Junk. Two down. One more coding sequence to go. Stay close to me, kid. This is no place to get lost. Yeah, yeah, I came across him down at the uh, cyborg ship, and I brought him into here in one of these things. And I'm too late to save him. I'm too late for everything. So what do you want to quit, sir? Huh? You want to go home? Get rid of the failsafe. I don't think so. She doesn't look happy. <sighs> Tell me you finished. I hacked my way past the upgraded security levels, then came across this. Whoever reprogrammed the system had a warped sense of humor. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do. What are you mumbling about? It's gotta be sports trivia. Oh, great, and I left my sports almanac at home. You're looking at the almanac. It's... it's Red R back. Damn. If you're the almanac, we're screwed. Come on, kid, you know this! Red was a nickname! His real name was... Arnie! No, no, no Arnold! Arnold! A, definitely A. Bo! The guy won eight championships in a row! The Roma went through 66! They programmed the failsafe in 64. Yeah. Guess the base, I know your sports hero, so. I don't know what the hell is that. Beatles song. What does that mean? Oh, we're screwed. We got company. It's asking for an album title. Okay, we are gonna make it. All right. Damn. With 30 seconds left, tell me you broke a nail. The disarm code isn't unscrambling. Do 
You're generating integer sequences? Of course. Why not the alphabet? Because nobody uses alphabetical encoding. It's ancient history. Since when? From the 60s, when Microsoft became the technology... The Inception Data Rubicon. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Thank you. Four. They used a three-letter word. Another safeguard. It won't run options on the alphabet. It doesn't have to be a word. It can be somebody's initials. Jordan Hangel. Middle initial. Oh, I'm gonna run the option. Just be a second. You got eight of them. <laughs> We're dead. Try JFK. Piss, I know your presence too, huh? Touche. I know what the hell is that. The computer just sent an automatic retrieval request. Pembroke. General Pembroke? This is Pembroke. You've received a signal. The failsafe has been neutralized. Let's go. What are you doing? Playing back Henkel's last log. I want to know what really happened here. Cyborg didn't release the creature. Samples men did. Data link report. 10 a.m. March 3rd. Dr. Jordan Hinkle to General Foster Pembroke. Situation critical. Failsafe initiated. Repeat, failsafe initiated. Evacuating at 1300 hours. <laughs> 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 Tried to save it. Lieutenant. Nice. You got any C4? What do you think? What do you say we leave a little insurance if Pembroke Science Project goes under? Help me rig the base. You got it. Fifteen minute delays. Cheese bores or... What's this for? Thought you might want to shove it up Pembroke's ass. All right. You take the lab areas, you take the corridors. We meet back here in five minutes, sir. How many more of these ugly bastards are out there? We've killed almost half of them. Three, maybe four left.
don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. He just saved my hands. I don't know why, but... Somehow we gotta let him know he's gotta get the hell out of here. Somehow, we've got to let him know he's got to get the hell out of here. You did that? You did that. Hi guys, boy, am I glad to see you. Where's Doyle? I'm not sure, sir. I'm on patrol. There are some really gnarly critters running around here. Get him on your comm line. Our headsets are fried, General. He's learning our language. I hope he's a quick study. Cage, come in. Sorrentino. The general haven't been located yet. We're trying to get the security Cage, system come on. online. I don't give a rat's ass how you do it. I want that cyborg, dead or alive, doesn't matter. Sir, what about Doyle and Darwin? They may not make it. General, you can't. Eric, spend them. We gotta get him out of here. I am not letting Pembroke capture him. He'll kill us to get him. Oh, you finally get it, huh? What are you doing? Uh. Get the hangar surveillance video on the line. Send the team in. Don't bother knocking. The team one. Stand by to move out. This craft's been here since 84 when the first alien landed. In 16 years, they never got it to fly. This can help. That piece, did you pull that out of your ship outside? The craft was only a pilotless drone. But this will make it function properly for my return. I have to. Get the hell out of here. Son of a bitch has an attitude. Is there something wrong with my attitude? No, he's the one with the attitude. Why did you come to Earth? My people sent the probe creature to confirm your life-sustaining atmosphere. I came to collect and confirm. You sent the killer? We didn't realize they would pose such a threat. They're simply bugs. Yeah, well, if we come visit you, we promise we won't bring any of ours. What the hell's that? Some kind of energy buildup. It's come from the hangar bay. Seal off that hangar now! No, cover for it! Okay, let's move! Sir! Fine, 
fly. Go, go, go. Expecting your mercenaries? They're dead. Just like Jimmy. And three more of my men. We're making a mistake. You think so? Shoot him! Peter. Retribution. Don't prove them right. You're not that person. Your hell is just beginning. Stop! Don't shoot! You sanctimonious son of a bitch! The depth of your stupidity amazes me! You think you can just put on your white hat, gallop in here, and undo what's taken me my entire career to achieve? I'm collecting hardware that you've never dreamed of! Leapfrogging generations of weapons development in the blink of an eye! Your brother understood. He knew what it meant to be a team player. To follow orders like a good soldier, but not you, Doyle. You're a loose cannon boy, and I need to get you off my deck. Get him out of here! Drop him. Lieutenant. I'm offering you the chance to stay. I don't think so, General. I don't see any future in it. You know what to do. We'll take those. I don't know what Pembroke's paying you guys, but in about two minutes you're gonna discover it ain't nearly enough. Shut up. Through there. I'm not going in there. There's one of those things in that room. Yeah, he's right. We trapped it earlier. Oh, man. Uh, uh. <laughs> Damn, woman, that's one neat kick. Tick tock, folks. Yeah.
Yeah, I'll be on the next transport. I figured you and Kate should be the ones to take them home. A couple of hours, all this will never have existed. No one's ever gonna know that we finally made contact. Imagine what it could have been. But I don't think we'll be hearing from them for a long, long time. This place probably isn't gonna get very high marks in the intergalactic Michelin Guide. We have met the enemy and he is us. You know that's from an old comic strip. Walt Kelly, Pogo. Lieutenant! See, I knew if we tried hard enough, we'd find something we had in common. You ever been to D.C.? Nope. Horrible place. Full of bureaucrats and politicians, but there's a little restaurant off the Beltway that serves fried oysters to die for. Yeah? 